Hi, it's Robin. My patron, Sean T. Kelly, asks, where is the best place to get games and software for the Commodore 64 emulator, Vice? And he's wanting to share this with his friends in his Star Trek club. This seemed like a good topic for my second channel. I haven't made a video for it in months. So when I'm doing research or I just want to play some games or whatever, whether I'm using Vice or if I'm using the recent The C64 from Retro Games, or if I'm using the real hardware, I do frequently download games from GameBase64. So we'll look at that first, and I have a couple other suggestions afterwards. The URL is GameBase64.com, or GB64.com also works. You see it's an old school website, but the content's good. Now, before I get to where to download the games, people are probably looking for recommendations about what to download as well. Of course, friends like Sean, you've probably got some favorites that you want to share with them. And of course, you can just Google around and so on. But if you want another list, perhaps semi-objective, just here on GameBase64, click on this GBC tab. And it brings you to the GameBase collection. And there's a few games recommended here. But up in this top right corner, it says top 100. And if you click on that, it brings up the top 100 viewed games. I'll zoom in a little here. So I mentioned before and took, took a bit of uh, flack from people. It still seems strange to me that the $100,000 pyramid is at the top. Alphabetically, it was probably the first game in the database for a while, but that still doesn't really explain how people would view that particular game more often. Game Base 64 doesn't just show you a list of alphabetical games with a $100 pyramid at the top very easily. Maybe a bot hammered it, I don't know. But apart from that $100,000 pyramid game, the most viewed games are also fairly representative of popular and good games. This is really an excellent list. Boulder Dash, Impossible Mission, Donkey Kong, Bruce Lee, they're at number five. Great Guiana Sisters, Summer Games, Bubble Bobble, Pirates, Ghostbusters. Oh, just so many good games here. And anyway, there's a hundred of them. There's Mayhem and Monsterland, California Games. Anyway, I don't need to read them all to you, but this is an excellent place to start exploring the C64 library. Another excellent resource is the Lemon64.com Top 100 Games. But unfortunately, the website's down right now, but I did find a copy on the web archive. So here it is, as it stood for about a month ago. Number one, Zach McCracken and the Alien Mindbenders. Number two, Pirates. Number three, Maniac Mansion. Number four, Wasteland. Five, IK+. Plus. 6, Last Ninja 2, 7, Turrican 2, The Final Fight, 8, Bubble Bobble, number 9, Ultima 4, Quest of the Avatar, that's a real favorite of mine, Defender of the Crown, and so on. You can pause this if you want. Let's go through the list quick in case, I hope this doesn't disappear permanently. So we're getting, oops, Space Taxi, excellent. Leaderboard, Seven Seas of Gold, Bard's Tale 3, Hero. Anyway, I, <laughs> don't get I love so many of these games that I'm not going to read them all. But lots of great games there. Okay, I'd like to present my top 123 games. And we won't spend a long time on this, but quite a while ago, I was going to make an episode about like my favorite, oh, I don't know, 64, Commodore 64 games. I started just dumping them all in a document. And anyway, I, I lost interest in that, or it seemed like way too much work to do video capture for 64 different games. Anyway, it ended up being like, I think it's 123 games currently. I'm still probably forgetting some. It depends on the on the day, whether some of these would make my top 100 list or whatever, but I'll point out some highlights. Love Hardball, that's a great two-player game. Ultima 4, my all-time favorite RPG. Sensitive, a little-known puzzle action game. 
It's excellent. The Bard's Tale series. Actually, I like all the Ultima and Bard's Tale games. Great American Cross Country Road Race. Excellent racing game. Le Mans, Jumpman Jr. Um, my grown up 80s channel. I did a playthrough of that with Darren Folds. The detective game. Wait, wait. I'm just, I'm just, I am reading the list. I love all these games. Check them out. Once you know what you want to download, where to download them? Well, a lot of the time, GameBase 64 is an excellent place to start. Say you want to play Ghosts and Goblins, just click on it. And it brings up the page, and they've nicely shown when it was published, and the publisher, the musician, the graphician, the artist, the programmer, and just lots of great information. And then they generally credit, if it's a cracked version of the game, then they credit them. And this group here called Remember, or short REM, usually has the best cracks of the game, meaning that they've removed copy protection. They probably added some cheat modes to make the game easier if you want. They're optional. And a lot of the time, they've actually improved the game over the original by fixing bugs. Shows the music. Anyway, right down here in the bottom right corner, download servers. And there's usually a link to a file here. And you just click it, you download it. And then it's usually in a zip file. You unzip it and it's ready to run in your emulator. Or it can be transferred to a real C64 with various solutions. I'm not going to get into that today. Maybe another time. And also interesting, if there isn't a download link, that's probably because the game is still commercially available or the copyright holders have requested it to be removed. And so I encourage you to respect that. If there's a newly made Commodore 64 game that's still being sold commercially, I encourage you to actually purchase that game. I'm a game developer myself. That can make all the difference between more Commerce 64 games coming out or people just not making such high quality C64 games anymore. So I do not encourage piracy. Technically, downloading any of these games, if you don't own the original, depending on where you live, it can be a copyright violation. But ethically, if the game's no longer available for sale, if you can't purchase a new copy, then I personally think it's okay for the game to be, you know, <laughs> I'd rather the game was preserved and available online than was just lost. Okay, but if GameBase doesn't have the game or you don't like the copy that's on there, okay, so another place to go is csdb.dk, which is the C64 scene database. This website does not exist to share games with people. It's almost like that's a side effect. What this website is about is archiving all the C64 scene, meaning the people who have cracked games over the years, all the demos that have been made. The C64 scene gets archived here. And part of that is cracking games. So you will find a lot of games on here I don't know if that's splitting hairs, but the, the purpose of this website is not to share games, but that's a side effect of it. So you can just click in here and search whatever, I don't know, Ghostbusters. Okay, and you'll see here there are 175 releases that match that name. And these are all C64 cracks, and you can download them. And if you click here, show all 175 matching releases. And you can look through all the different versions. Now to say right off the bat, what you're usually looking for, Nostalgia is an excellent group that have done very good cracks of a lot of games. Usually the other best one is Remember. We'll see if they're even on here. Okay, but Remember hasn't done a Ghostbusters crack. So, and there's other games, of course, you'll get like the real Ghostbusters or Ghostbusters 2, the other games that are out there. So I sometimes use CSDB when I'm doing research. For example, when I was doing that Bruce Lee episode, I downloaded every copy of Bruce Lee they had because I was looking for all the different version numbers. When you press the V key and it reveals the version number, 
I was looking for all the different versions that were available. And you can either go through to the page. So here we will choose this Ghostbusters. And you see here it says proper release 101%. That usually means they've improved over the original. And you might find that over on the right here under Trivia. Oh yeah, there we go. Samples fixed for 8580 SID. So they've actually altered the game to make it so the samples, that is like the Ghostbusters speech, works better on the new SID as well as on the classic 6581 SID. And you can just download the zip file here and you can see it's a D64 file. One lesser known website that in the past at least I've used frequently is this c64hq.hu which is a Hungarian website and you can see it actually is often in Hungarian but you should be able to find your way around. It's been around well at least for 20 years here and at one time this was my absolute favorite website to go to. Now I probably go here third if I'm not happy with what I'm finding elsewhere. It's very old school. So again, if we go, I don't know, just uh, hop on Ghostbusters, you click there and it shows all the games that they have that start with G and then there's four pages of them. I don't think there's an actual search feature really. So if you search the web page for Ghost, you're not going to find it there. Click through to the second page, third page. So we'll actually go back to the second page. <laughs> And just look at all the, look at what they have here. But there's a bunch of games on here that I'm not sure are in game base. At one time, there were a lot of games that were on here that you couldn't find anywhere else or different versions. So this is still totally worth checking out if you're really digging around here. Um... Well, the search feature. Okay, well, anyway, there we are. Ghostbusters, great game. So there's all these different versions, and sometimes they're even, like, doxy. So there will be extra documentation in here. This FAQ. So there's sometimes there's very interesting extra documents to download. You never know what you're going to find here. Again, very old school, but still a very cool resource. So, Sean, I hope that helps with getting your friends set up with some C64 games to try on the emulator. And for those of you who have stuck around to the end, I've been thinking about what to do with this second channel. I guess I mainly want it to be when I have a topic that's 8-bit relevant, but doesn't really fit in with the main thing I do on 8-bit show and tell. That's why I was thinking we'd go here. But this year I've been watching a lot of LGR's LGR Blurbs channel. And of course, because he's already such a success, his new channel, <laughs> he just started it and it's like 100,000 subscribers in no time. But that LGR Blurbs channel seems to me that he uses it to, he makes quick videos that don't have any research. He just shows a thing and, you know, doesn't edit all that much or whatever. Up goes the video. I'm a bit envious of that. So I'm wondering if 8-Bit Show and Tell 2 might become 8-BST. That doesn't roll quite as nice as LGR, but if it should be 8-Bit Show and Tell or 8-Bit Blurbs, uh, well, that's maybe too much of a ripoff, but Basically, I've got so many things that I would like to do a video about, but then I'm researching and digging into it. And I know that's probably what you find interesting about my videos when I uncover things you, you might not have seen before. But some of these things, there are no good videos on YouTube about them. So I could just show the thing, not really research it, but you're still getting to explore a thing with me. So if you like that idea, leave a comment. And um, yeah, I appreciate your support. Sorry there's been so little on the second channel, but I appreciate that you've hung around. Okay, and uh, in case I don't get another video out sooner, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. And uh, here's hoping that 2021 is a better year for all of us. Okay, we'll talk to you later. Charlie.
old Saint Nicholas lean your ear this way Don't you tell a single soul what I'm going to say Christmas Eve is coming soon Now you dear old man Whisper what you'll bring to me Tell me if you can When the clock is striking twelve When I'm fast asleep Down the chimney broad and black With your pack you'll creep I do love the computer That I got last year But now would like some upgrades please Won't you Santa dear drive, cause that's too slow to load, and a big pack of blank discs on which to save my code. Also get me a disc notcher to use the backside. Yes, I know I could use scissors, but this is quicker and looks much more nice.